I know she's fictional in the sense, but I put a lot of my heart into her. So to me, she feels real. Um, and she is real because she's a reflection of a story of multiple stories here in the United States that don't always get to see, you know, light in a, a really and be told in a really big franchise like this. So I think that's really special. To start off, I wanted to ask you kind of about the changes within this universe um, from the National Treasure franchise. So unlike the original films, the series has a female protagonist. And on top of that, she's not an American citizen. So what's most important to you about these changes? What's most important to me is that people get to see that there's another American experience um, that exists and is important and valid. Um, you know, Jess is somebody who was not born in the United States, but she has every intention to want to be American. And I think that's, uh, I guess, a really beautiful symbolism that's implemented in our story. Um, she's also similar to Ben. She has a very, very strong uh, mind and is very courageous in a sense. But for her, she's uh, she operates a lot from her heart. And I think that's really beautiful. Um, it is a continuation of the story, though. So we do have a lot of other characters coming back and we get to see how they interact and move uh, Jess's uh, story forward. What is it that you like most about playing Jess? Like, are there any qualities that really stood out about her to you? Yes, 1000 percent. I think it's um, her courage and uh, how she faces worldly adversities in her life, um, in her relationships. And uh, I guess just in general, she quite frankly, is one of the bravest people, you know, I've come to know. I know she's fictional in the sense, but I put a lot of my heart into her. So to me, she feels real. Um, and she is real because she's a reflection of a story of multiple stories here in the United States that don't always get to see, you know, light in a, a really and be told in a really big franchise like this. So I think that's really special. Well, we know from the first episode that Jess doesn't really get a chance to know her father and it doesn't seem like she has a very fond opinion of him. Is this something that this search might change? You know, I think it wasn't that she didn't have a fond opinion of him. It was what her mother told her as a child. I think for her, she loves her mother so much. She never felt the need to overstep or to want to push to figure out who her father was. Um, unfortunately, she's still grieving the loss of her mother. We pick up the story about a year after she passes away. And, uh, you know, her, her life's at a standstill. And so when she hears that her father actually, you know, may or may not have something to do with something incredibly crazy, like a Pan American treasure, um, she starts getting really curious, especially because, you know, I think for her, she has nothing like for her, she feels she has nothing really going for her. Um, and so she takes it upon herself to have the courage, despite her being DACA, to go after the treasure. And I think that's a testament to how important the treasure is to her because she decides to risk it all. Well, Jess is also great at solving problems. She wants to work for the FBI. When it starts out, she's in doing a prison break. So do you guys have that in common? Are you good at solving puzzles? Do you like that kind of stuff like Jess? I think she's definitely better at solving puzzles than I am. <laughs> I would like to think that I could do it because I played her, <laughs> but honestly, I'm going to give her, I'm going to bow down and give her all my respect because, uh, yeah, she definitely takes the cake. <laughs> and then lastly, I wanted to ask, let's say that you were going on this, on this treasure hunt as you, you could have one skill. What do you think will be most helpful in the series? A perfect memory. <laughs> Uh, yeah, definitely someone that, I mean, I guess it's similar to Jess. She doesn't forget any details. She knows everything and, you know, can take herself back into a moment in time, um, and remember something important that helps further her story. So, you know, if I could have her superpower in a way, that would be really cool. So cool. I am going to have to wrap, but thanks so much for chatting with me. I'm really enjoying the series. Thank you so much. I appreciate it.